Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. So today we're looking at some brand new cards which are being released within Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s and the Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel mechanic. So the first card is obviously a new legend card. It's Jinzo. It's a card which has been introduced back from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monster series and I'm not surprised it's become a legend card. You've got other cards such as Red Eyes Black Dragon, Blue Eyes White Dragon, and Dark Magician, who have also got this status. Uh, for anyone who isn't aware, Legend cards are very unique in that, unlike in the, you know, the traditional game, you can run, you know, up to three copies of cards, provided they're not in the Forbidden or Limited list, or any restriction apply to them. Unfortunately, in this, in with Legend status, they are only you're only able to run one Legend card and within your deck and that that's it so you have to be very specific in the type of deck you're building and it's very has to be very focused on that card because you can't add additional ones no matter what you want to do uh, this obviously is a level six dark machine type effect monster with 2400 attack and 1500 defense it has no requirements but its continuous effect is neither player can activate uh, trap cards and negate both players trap effects. I like the wording on the bottom of this to say a continuous effect because in the original wording you don't have that so for newer players this is a good way of saying the second Jinzo is out that's it no traps can be activated and that avoids arguments it avoids confusion and it makes it much more simplistic uh, for beginner players. The next card is post-apocalyptic Beast of Warrior Legend. It's a normal spell card. The requirement is you can activate this card if you control a face-up monster that's a level 7 or higher Beast Warrior type. And the effect is to select one monster in your graveyard, level 4 or lower Beast Warrior type, and special summon it to your field in face-up defense position. Okay, so it's a very specific version of something like the Shallow Grave. It allows you to bring back a Beast Warrior type monster, provided it's level 4 or lower. That can always be used as a tribute or for a sacrifice for one of your other card effects. So it, it's useful, but how specific? It's very specific. And I think there's only about one or two decks at the moment that run these type of... I mean, the post-apocalyptic are, are an archetype of themselves that are Beast Warriors specialised. So that's kind of why this card exists. And the other card is a Jewelry Trap Hole. It's a normal trap card. The requirement is you can activate this card when your opponent normal or special summons a monster while you control three face-up monsters. Uh, you must have them as aquatypes. And the effect is to select one face-up monster your opponent controls. It must be level 8 or lower and destroy it. I like the design on the card. I think it looks really beautiful and I can understand the kind of theme they're going for. You know, you, you imagine this jewellery cavern um, it, you know, where people have lost treasure and it looks beautiful and fantastic. That's where I think the focus on Aquatype has been. I think it would have been better if it applied to Aquatype, Fish and Sea Serpent because most of those types of decks work very well together and it would make it a little bit more flexible for you to run multiple types of cards. In exchange, it does destroy your opponent's monster and it's less specific because you know, it, it does have to be the face up, that, that, that's a bit of an issue. But it, most of the monsters are level 8 or lower, except for some of the maximum monsters. Um, so you should be able to target most of your opponent's cards. Uh, again, the issue is you need to have three face up monsters, so unless you've been able to normal summon that many in the turn, it does also rely on your opponent to normal special summon first. So if they summon something, and they're not bothered about it being, you know, destroyed. They can always just replace it with another card. That's the downside. I like that it's a trap hole, but it's very specific for a specific type. 